Hello, my name is Anne and welcome to a Toby Knits podcast, episode 115. Now then, if you are new to my channel, then welcome. Grab a cup of tea, get comfy, because today we're talking about knitting. Typically, I talk about knitting on Mondays. Wednesdays is floss tube, so it's all about the cross stitch. And Fridays is quilty fun. So you can pick one of them to watch each week or watch them all. But the most important thing is that you tell your mates so they can come on and subscribe or like or comment to some of my videos because it's way more fun when you all join in. Um, so first off, happy Thanksgiving because today is Thanksgiving Day in Canada, which is where I now live originally from England, but I've been here over 40 odd years now. And um, yeah, so today is Thanksgiving. And I remember when I first got here, I had no clue what Thanksgiving was. I was 25 when I came here. I got here and I was like, what is going on? What is this Thanksgiving thing about? And then the US have one at a different time altogether. So the best I could kind of put it to was kind of like, when we were kids at school in England, you used to have this thing called Harvest Festival. And that's the only thing I could liken it to. Um, but of course, now I've been here long enough, I know what, you know, Thanksgiving is. And, and I love it just as much as everybody. I don't decorate crazy like some people do. Um, just because, well, I just don't. Um, but I do enjoy having the family over and having a big turkey dinner. And uh, so that's kind of what's going to happen today. They're all coming over later. Ah, turkey's in the oven. Can you smell it? Can you? Mm. Too bad if you can't. I can. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's get on with the show. So I have three things to talk to you about today. The first thing will be the owl cow, which is if you know me enough now you know it's my car knitting because I can't just sit in the car and drive I um well I can't drive period but I'm not a very good passenger in a car either so I do tend to do something else while I'm in the car so as not to distract my husband with my ranting and raving about other cars and braking and watch that dog and oh you're in too close to the ditch so I knit it saves our marriage um, so alcohol is my car knitting, so I knit it when I'm in the car because it's a nice small project to take. Um, then I have started working on Tristan's flax sweater. I don't, you might remember that from a couple of months ago. It got shoved in a corner for a while. Um, and I just have one more sleeve to put in. So, um, oh, I have to tell you this funny story though. So I tried it on him before I started the next sleeve. So I had the hole and then this sleeve done in the body because it's a neck down sweater from Tin Can Knits and I tried it on him and I made it for three and he's two and a bit um but anyway I made it I put it on him just to see if it was the right size you know like was it gonna work is it or was it gonna be going to Leo instead or you know what was the situation with the sweater and uh, I put it on him and he was like too big <laughs> straight away trying to take too big nana trying to take it all i'm thinking okay now well this will fit by christmas which is when you get in it so it's all good it's all good and then the other thing i want to talk to you about is the stephen west mystery shawl that we're doing um which started uh last thursday and that was um twists and turns it's called this is my slip stravaganza shawl i put it on because i'm in the basement and it's chilly down here and I loved this one, totally loved it. Isn't that amazing? Look at the edge. And for the life of me, I can't remember how we made it now, but I mean, it was, uh, at the time it was intense because it was my very first one. And, uh, you know, let me get it off this way and show you. It was the very first one I'd ever made. And uh, it was, isn't that good? Like that looks like stained glass. And anyway, I absolutely love this. Um, and it's my favorite colors, of course, purple, 
with white. And uh, anyway, I love it so much and it definitely keeps you nice and warm. And then I made another one after that, which I then gave to give it to my daughter-in-law. If you watched my video last week, I think it was, um, it was all about the shawls I've made over the last couple of years. Because um, I'm only really started shawl knitting about nine years ago after my mom passed away. Other than that, I never made them before. I made everything else, but not shawls. And so now for me, October signifies the new Stephen West. And I look forward to this so much. Anyway, let me actually show you instead of chit-chatting about this. So first up then is Alcal. Last time I saw you, uh, I had just started the green. So I haven't really got that far. Whoa, and I've just pulled all my stitches off. One second, please. One. Just chat amongst yourselves. I'll be with you in a minute. There we go. So here it is so far and i really love this i'm actually looking forward to getting it finished so it starts with the rib the knit two parallel two rib and then we go into and i kept this one color the same all the way through I'm trying to remember the name i think it was oh my gosh i got it i can't even remember where i got it from I think I got it for another project and wound up doing, using it for this because I just loved the color. And then these are little minis from Ellie of Craft House Magic. And these were the, I believe these were the, the March uh, mixtape minis. So I'm using each one of them. The pattern does call for six repeats of the color between the main, but I think this is pretty much long enough for me. So um, after I finish the green, I will be putting in the border or the last part again, which is the same here in the purple. And I think I'm just gonna leave it finished at that. But this is the owl cowl because they look like little owls. Let me see if I can, uh, owl's eyes and noses. See, isn't that cute? Little owl eyes and noses. There, that might be a better one. And Toby is barking. And he's coming down the stairs to tell me what happened. Shh, shh. It's okay, it's okay. Toby, it's okay. It's okay. It was probably a squirrel. Dig it. Uh, it's probably a squirrel. It's okay. Okay, go and lie down upstairs. Go on, I'll be there in a minute. Um, so this is the car knitting, and as you can tell, because I've only done this much, I haven't really been in the car much. <laughs> but hey, sometimes that's what happens. I'm a homebody. I like to stay in. So that is that one. And then here is the flax, which is a tin can knit, and I have one exactly the same. You may remember that I have one of these. The ball of yarn is so big. It's kind of hard to get it out of the bag. It's the ball of yarn that's the biggest coming out of the bag. Okay, so here is the flax. And <clears throat> this is the front and the back are exactly the same. It's got a nice big wide neck. So it's great for kids. And um, here is the sleeve and this sleeve has this lovely um garter stitch uh row this is a free pattern actually so is the owl cow they're both free patterns so i'll leave links below where you can get them and um so i have now cast on and got about that much into the sleeve here and I will fix all these holes up once I can get in there and tighten up some of those stitches. I always hate when you have to do that. You have to like pick up two or three stitches and you think, I really could pick up five because then it will really pull it in. But 
you know, you do what you're told. You do what you're told. The fountain says pick five up, you pick five up. But anyway, so here is how it is coming on. And I hope I can get that finished for him for Christmas. I'm pretty sure I can. I don't have that much to do. We start, I have to do about six inches. So get to here and I'm there. It's hard to tell with circulars, but so I have to just knit straight to here and then start making some decreases, as you can see there, to go down to the wrist. So that's coming on very nice. I'm loving that. And then it's twists and turns. Now, before I go any further, I have a big announcement to make. Ooh, I was interviewed ooh, by another podcaster. Yeah, I was. I was. I'm not kidding. Um, so Irina from um, Fiber Chats uh, interviewed me the other day and it will go live on her channel on Thursday. I think it's at noon. So and what she's been doing, which I think is super cute. <clears throat> her and Martin, who is another one of my favorite podcasters, he's uh, Knit360 blog. And on YouTube, I'll leave a link to his channel too. May as well look at them both. And they're both doing this, the knit, um, West Knits shawl along. And it's like this bunch of us all get together at the same time of the year to do this. And uh, anyway, um, they are both joining together to do some lives together and some Zooms. And those were a lot of fun. I took part in one of the Zooms where we all cast on together. And um, Toby, are you okay now? Are you okay now? And um, I'll pick him up in a minute. Um, they had, uh, so they were doing all these lives. Anyway, on top of all that, Irina is doing this um, little segment every week called Humans of Westnet. And she interviews all the different people from all around the world that are stitching this, that are making this particular shawl and joining in on this journey. And I, do, I just think they're lovely. I watch them while I'm knitting it. It's just so nice. You know, all these people are also stitching the same thing you are. It's just like, it's super cool. So um, go and check that out on Thursday and I will leave a link to her channel below like I said, so that you can go check that out. Now, if you are stitching this, I shouldn't say stitching, knitting this, and you don't want to see this, then don't look. Okay. So I am doing mine. We had to pick um, two of one color, so a mane. So I've picked a very pale silvery gray. And then we had to have two 100 gram skeins of a contrast. So I picked white opposites. I thought that would look really nice. And then we had to pick a pop. Now most of the shawl, my understanding is, will be in these two colors, I think. But again, this is a mystery. So we have absolutely no idea. But my pop is red. Don't I wind these up weird? I need a new ball winder. Has anybody got any good? I have a Swift, but I have a really cheap ball winder from Michael. So if anybody else has any suggestions of a good ball winder, please let me know in the comments below. So anyway, <laughs> this is a bit of a mess. I haven't even used this yet. But um, so that will be my pop. So it'll be kind of like a Christmassy, Christmassy thing. Okay, so I've got to get these back out again. I'm going to show you my shawl so far. Um, bear with me. Here it is. Okay, so remember, don't look if you're making this. Now then, it looks kind of a bit weird, and you're thinking, what are all of these holes for? Well, I shall show you what those holes are for. 
because I took a picture of how it's going to look when we're done this clue. Isn't that cute? And these chevrons will get wider as we're going. If you can see there, they're already getting wider. And we're going to do something very special with these loopy things. So again, if you don't want to know what we're going to be doing with them loopy things, then don't look. Because I'm going to put a picture up now of what's going to happen to them loopy things. Ready? Steady? Go. Is that not the craziest thing you've seen? Oh my goodness. When I, he puts out a video too. So if you've never done a wasp snitch roll, there's still time to get in on it. It only just started. And every Mon uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, every Thursday, <laughs> He releases a new part, a new clue. So for example, in this one, our first clue was just this part. And we had to knit all that. And then the next clue was this part, this part here, sorry, and the holes in this part. Then it was this part, then it was this part, and then this part. So you can see the way it progresses. Oh God, it's cold, I'm putting that back on. You can see the way it progresses, right? So what, um, you can go and get his patent. It's just a PDF. And every week he will update that PDF in Ravelry for you so that um, the next clue is attached. And then you can, you know, carry on knitting. And we never know where it's going. And it's called Twists and Turns. So that was our first twist. And I just thought that that was so cool. And he puts out a video showing you how to knit that first part. Now, if you can purl and you can knit, that's all you need to do. If you know how to slip a stitch, if you know how to slip two, knit one, pass the slip stitches over, you're good, you're good to go. Just follow his pattern and follow his video. Because, and he's so, oh, I could almost fall asleep listening to him actually on a video. Just the way he explains things, it's so soothing. You feel like, I can do this. This isn't hard. This is easy. I can do this. You know, so honestly, go and check it out. I'm not affiliated with him or nothing. I just love his stuff. And I, this is my third one, and it is a lot of fun. So go and give it a shot because you won't regret it. And then there's a Ravelry uh, group. There's a Facebook page group and everybody helps everybody else out. So if you get stuck, we'll help you. But it's a lot of fun. And I know at least one of my friends who is currently living in the Netherlands who's working on this too. So I can't wait to see yours soon. Show me, show me, send me a picture. And uh, anyway, that's all I have for you today. So please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. If you are not already, it is free to subscribe. Um, I would love to be able to grow this channel to a thousand so I can start doing some lives with my iPhone because wouldn't it be cool if we could do a live knit along one day? Just sit around and chat and, you know, knit. I think that would be great. Oh, there's a really big bug on the floor. Oh, Toby, get that bug. Get that bug. There, get it. Look, Toby, look at it. Get it, Toby, get it. Oh. You are, it's, it's not a squirrel, so he's not interested, but it's a huge, big bug. I think it's a cricket. I'm gonna have to go get it. Okay, it's either that or I'm gonna have a cup of tea. I might go for the cup of tea. Yeah, I think I'll go for the cup of tea. Let's go, Toby! <laughs> okay, bye!